after section formula let us try to understand the three points when they are not on one line that is when they form a triangle. So, you have been given three points and you know they are not collinear points and therefore, they will form a triangle and the question can be how to find the area of triangle using the coordinate system. So, let us try to see that <coughs> using the coordinate system. So, there is some triangle ABC and I want to find the area of triangle ABC. Let the coordinates of that triangle be x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. Once I have these coordinates, I can plot it here. You can see on the right, there is an image of a triangle. Now, how to find the area of this triangle? Now, whatever I discussed so far, everything actually relied on dropping a perpendicular to x axis and finding the area of the geometric object that is formed. In earlier cases, it was just a triangle. Now, if we follow that theory, then you can easily see that I need to do something like dropping a perpendicular to x axis. So, I have dropped perpendiculars to x axis. Now, I have generated some figures. What are the figures that I have generated? In particular, I have generated three trapeziums. Trapezium A, D, F, C that is the biggest one encompassing everything. Then you can look at trapezium A, B, E, D or A, D, E, B. Then you can look at the trapezium B, E, F, C. Right. Now, my triangle is trapped in between these trapeziums. So, let us try to uh, make the un our understanding crystal clear. If I want, want to find the area of triangle ABC, then I need to first consider the biggest possible quadrilateral or trapezium that is ADFC and eliminate the areas of two smaller trapeziums that is ADEB and BEFC. And whatever I am left with is the area of triangle ABC. Now, do I know how to find the area of trapezium? Yes, I know. The formula is half times sum of parallel sides into the height of the trapezium. So, we need to quantify what how these quantities will be calculated. Let us consider trapezium ADFC. If I consider a trapezium ADFC, then what are the parallel sides of this trapezium? Side AD and side FC or CF. Right? So, I will take average of these two parallel sides that is half of AD plus FC. Then what is a height? Height should have a perpendicular distance. So, that is x axis. So, I know the distance will be DF. Correct. So, let us take the general coordinate system rather than using this coordinate system. What are the coordinates of AD? Hmm. So, D will have uh, in our general coordinate system, the coordinates of AD will be uh, A has coordinates x1, y1 and D is after dropping a perpendicular on x axis. So, it is y1 coordinate will vanish that is y coordinate will vanish and therefore, the coordinates uh, coordinates of d will be x1 comma 0. So, what will be the length of a d? It will be purely in terms of y that is y1. Similar thing is applicable for c f. So, it will be nothing but y3. So, half y1 plus y3. Now, what is the length of line segment d f or f d highest minus the lowest right. So, in this case our f is 8 comma 0 or x 3 comma 0 and d the point d is x 1 comma 0. So, it is x 3 minus x 1. You can easily see the point here is actually the copy 
of 8 in this particular thing our c is this so my point is x3 minus x1 in a similar manner i can actually see a smaller trapezium that is adeb smaller quadrilateral that is adeb and the length of that quadri quadrilateral will be the length or the height of that quadrilateral will be the length of ed which is 2 in this case or x2 minus x1 in the coordinate system okay. so this is what our understanding of the length is in a similar manner the parallel sides are y1 and y2 lengths of parallel sides is y1 plus y2 so i have this angle in a similar manner you can compute befc now using this you can compute the area of the triangle which can be easily seen to be in this form so i have just taken this example and uh, computed this these values so the values are effectively in this particular case the length of uh, ad was the length of ad was 2 yes 4 comma 2 and 4 comma 0 the length of ad was 2 the length of cf was 3 into 4 minus and similar calculations go ahead minus half into 2 plus 1 into 2 minus half into 1 plus 3 into 2 so essentially what i got here is the length and the area of the triangle abc is 10 minus 3 minus 4 which is 3 square units now if you look at this particular Thing and rewrite this expression you will get a very nice expression you can juggle with this expression and try to simplify it by taking a cross products and you will come up with the expression of this form the absolute sign is just to ensure that the area value should not be negative but the calculation still remains same and you need to consider the one re reminder or one caution here you need to consider all the vertices of a triangle in an anti clockwise direction okay. then only this formula is valid okay. so i have considered area of a triangle now we have what we have seen so far is given two points how to find the distance between two points given three points if they are collinear we, we have found how to find uh, how section formula can help us to find their ratios or the coordinates of the middle point now if the points are non collinear we have seen how to compute the area of the triangle using the coordinate system